How are you, May? I'm good. How about you? I'm good too. We got a high score for the physics project. I wanted to thank you. Hopefully, we'll work together again. Just look at her showing off over there. She has a big head. Total loser. I warned her, so now I have to show her, right? <laughs> you know, you worked hard as well, right? You should be proud of yourself. Well, then, see you later. See you. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 what happened to May? Teacher, May stumbled badly and fell down. She hit her knee hard. Can Tiffany and I go check on her? Of course. Go help her right away. You can take her to the medical room if that's necessary. All right, teacher. Wow, 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 if it isn't our famous crybaby. So you've won the bet. I was so sure our crybaby would have been near the dumpsters outside by this point. Look, didn't we request you very nicely to stay away from Mike? We saw your closeness and laughter during physics class, but didn't we give you a clear warning? We said that whenever you see him, you should move away from him at all costs. Well, we only got together to complete the group project. We spoke about the project, that's it. I don't remember laughing with him. So am I the one lying? The same foul smell. Why didn't you shower before class time? Deodorant was discovered a hundred years ago. Don't you know that yet? And then they keep on praising that torn clothing as if there's some kind of fashion statement or something. They've come to school wearing clothes that shouldn't even be worn while cleaning. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much this phone costs, huh? Even if your whole family worked, you still would not afford it. Hmm. This is your phone, isn't it? A museum wouldn't even take it for free. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna pay for what you've done now. Hold on. Please just leave it. We can't afford to buy a new one. Don't do this. I beg you. You should have thought about that before. Let me tell you what happened. My friend and I went to the bathroom. May was coming out of the bathroom crying. She was holding onto something wet. We couldn't understand what it was. She kept crying, saying, I'm finished, I'm finished. But uh, we didn't expect things to escalate. But this isn't your first complaint, and you know that as well. Well, other students had many complaints about you in the past as well. But somehow they withdrew their complaints. Well, I don't have any personal issues with May. But she probably doesn't like me much. She has been acting strange since the start. Maybe she just doesn't like us. I don't like you? As if I was the person making those snide remarks from the first day. You smell so much. You're so ugly. You are very poor. Not to mention that somebody is always stealing my school assignments out of my bag before class. And because of your troll accounts, I deleted my comments first and then closed down all of my accounts. That is quite enough now, kids. Jane, I want you to ask your father to come. It's time to meet with him to discuss your behavior. Hello there, Dad. Yes, yes, the incident just happened like that. A girl from school has decided to target me. She's causing trouble and making false accusations. They want to meet with you tomorrow, Dad. Principal. All right, Dad, I love you too. See you. Tell me why. My daughter would never do such a thing. That girl targeted my daughter and made false accusations against her. 
Listen here, sir. I assure you that if we weren't sure about this, I wouldn't have called you to come and meet with me here. Besides, May isn't the only student now complaining about your daughter. Many students from younger grades have complained about your daughter, but somehow she always manages to intimidate the kids into withdrawing their complaints, you see? So we can't turn a blind eye to this. Your daughter is being suspended from school for 15 days for this. Do you really think I will just leave this case here? I'll appeal to the Ministry of Education if it is needed. I will show all of you what it means to play with the future of a young person's life. Please calm down for a moment, sir. Look here. If you allow me, I would like to show you something quickly, please, sir. Your daughter and the girl she bullied are actually sitting in the room next door right now. I believe you'd be interested to hear what they're talking about. If you think you can get away with this, you're really mistaken. Jane, enough already. I'm not afraid of you. Stop bullying me as well as the other kids in school. Tell me something. Do you know who my dad is? He can get you expelled from this school. Just like I flushed that phone down the toilet, I can shove your head in there. And then I'll even share it with everyone online. You made such a big deal of your worthless phone. This isn't about the phone, Jane. Everyone in the school is afraid of you. And as people fear you more, you only start bullying everyone more. You need to stop this despite your threats. I won't withdraw my complaint against you. So the school Cinderella is defying me? Just you wait. I'll make your life a living hell. Do you see now? I knew that she would behave like this, so I sent them to the room to capture the conversation with cameras. Five years ago. We lost Jane's mother in a horrible car accident. Jane blamed herself for the entire accident. And due to the business of my work, I could not spend much time with her. So caregivers raised her. I gave her plenty of pocket money. I truly believed my money could solve everything. Although it was not right for me to film their conversation, I really had no other choice if I wanted to convince you, you know. So if I may be so bold, sir, my advice to you is to seek psychological support and to spend more quality time with your daughter. Hello? Can you please ask Jane and May to come to my office? Come inside, girls. Jane, I just told your father everything that happened. You are going to be suspended from school for 15 days. But please, Dad! Enough, Jane. Of course there has to be consequences. I have heard and seen everything. But of course, you're not the only one who must be blamed. I know I left you very alone. After your mother's death, my work was demanding. I believed I could solve all my problems with money. I was wrong. I apologize. So following our teacher's advice, we'll need to seek psychological support. This way we can start on a clean slate. We both need to start changing our behaviors, you know? May, I can't repair your broken pride in any way, but I will get you a new phone. It's not about the phone, believe me. We're only here at school to get a good education. Jane, I just wanted to show you that you're privileged because of your wealth and not everyone is as lucky, but I didn't know about your experiences. That's why I wanted to withdraw my complaint, please. I'm sorry, May. I hope you can forgive me for everything. 